hello. Welcome on back to my channel guys. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different for you. I have my very good friend Lorena Halidi on in to be my model today. And besides the fact that we really are trying to run out the door to be somewhere, we're on a time crunch. So I figured what better time than now to create a tutorial for all of you boys and girls who want to learn at home how to do a quick and easy 10 minute glam. This is with a twist because I'm going to throw in a bright red lip with it. So I hope you guys really like that. It's something new I haven't done for my channel yet. And with all the restrictions lightening up a bit around many cities and with people getting back to work and back to school, they got people to see, things to do, checks to cash. This is like the perfect time to release this kind of tutorial. It might be the end of my career after this. I don't know. I. It's 10 minutes that I got, so I, the makeup might look a little botched, just a little bit. But don't hold it against me. This is a judgment-free zone. So if you want to learn how I achieved this quick and easy 10-minute glam with a bold red lip, then keep on watching. So first and foremost, I'm using the Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream from Fresh to prep the skin, and I'm using my Beauty Blender to apply it. You may notice the Beauty Blender looks a little dirty with foundation, but that's only because this is our second try filming this video, as the first video is way longer than 10 minutes, so I had to wipe everything off and start from scratch. For foundation, I'm using CoverGirl's True Blend Matte Made Foundation. This is in the shade T15, so it's really going to complement Lorena's beautiful golden honey skin tone. If any of you watching have seen my live stories on Instagram, you've heard me rant and rave about this foundation. It's definitely one of my go-to drugstore foundations. And although it's marketed as a matte foundation, it's not... It's not the most matte, in my opinion. It definitely has a little sheen to it, but it's buildable and it looks flawless on the skin. I really wanna do a complete look using only drugstore products one of these days, so if that's a video you'd want to watch, let me know down below in the comments. And side note, you'll notice how I bring the foundation up onto the ears and down the neck. That's something I, I really can't emphasize enough in order to get that seamless look. So if it's not something that you're already doing, give it a try, it's a game changer. To conceal and highlight, I'm using the Sensual Skin Enhancer from Kevin Aquan in the shade SX04, and I'm applying a good amount of this underneath the eyes and working my way outwards towards the temples. I probably didn't need this full coverage of a concealer on our model, but I, I just kind of reached for whatever was around at the time. And you'll see I'm not aiming for perfection with the placement of this concealer. With the time crunch that we're in, I'm just wanting to get the product onto the face and we'll worry about all the details once we blend it out. And to be 100, 100% honest, this complete look took a little longer than 10 minutes for me. As you can see, we were Miss Chatty Cathy's talking up a storm. We had the vino flowing, the music blasting, my makeup brushes are all over the place. And mind you, this whole circus act is happening all while I'm trying to manage the filming aspect of everything. So according to the timer, it took me about 14 minutes from start to finish. But if you're not having to worry about the filming and downing a barrel of wine, then yes, this can totally be achieved in 10 minutes. Plus, we're going to cheat a little bit by skipping a few of the makeup steps that you would usually see me do. So that will help us cut back on time a lot. For example, like now you would usually see me cream contour, but... I'm gonna skip that whole step and just leave the powder bronzer to do that work for us later on in the video. To set the face, I'm using the Born This Way setting powder from Too Faced to set that foundation. What I'm doing is, is I'm pouring a good amount of this product into the palm of my hand and then taking a large face brush to buff it into the skin. I then take my ring finger to blend out any creasing of the concealer from underneath the eyes and I use a powder puff to set that concealer. Usually, if you guys have watched my videos, you know I prefer to set the under eyes lightly and then go in later with baking, but this is gonna have to be one of those steps we skip today. And while I do enjoy this Too Faced powder for lightly setting the makeup, it was a little mistake of mine to use it for baking. I should have used a translucent powder without so much uh, color pigment in it, but I didn't have that kind of time to be looking for one. Then I blend out any creasing on top of the eyelids and use the same powder with a blending brush to lightly set the concealer. 
To emphasize the contours of the face, I'm using an Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in the shade Cappuccino, and I'm running this down the sides of the nose and underneath the lip where we would have usually used a cream contour. Our model Lorena already has such a tiny nose, but I'm just using this product to bring back a little bit of that dimension. I'm also gonna use this same bronzer to start the eye look. This eye makeup is going to be so, so simple and so easy, and this will help draw most of the attention later on to the bold red lip that we create. I'm also using a slightly tapered flat blending brush to apply this bronzer to the lid, starting from the outer corner and blending inwards. Then with a smaller dense brush, I'm taking a brown eyeshadow and placing that along the lash line. There's really no specific shadow I recommend you use for this. You can pretty much take any brown shadow you already own and that should work just fine. I'm focusing this on the outer corner of the eye and working that shadow into the crease, slowly bringing it and building it forward towards the inner corner. I then use my previous brush to blend everything together. Next, I'm taking both the bronzer and brown shadow to start smoking out the bottom lash line. This isn't a step you wanna rush. I know it's ironic given that we're in a rush, but we don't want the shadow to look choppy and unblended. Since I want you guys to see the complete makeup application and somewhat stay true to the time limit I'm on, I'm going to do the other eye on camera so you can take another look of the steps. So Spence got a little too confident with the time he had left and decided to add a little extra to the eyes. I'm lightly, lightly taking a black eyeshadow with an angled blending brush to create a very soft wing because I definitely didn't want a bold wing liner with this look. I wanted something very soft and barely there, just enough to complement the shape of her eyes and not really notice was there and unless you were super close up to her face. With a brush, I'm stamping this onto the outer corner of the lash line and softly blending it outwards. Another great trick for getting a seamless wing is taking your finger and dragging the wing out so it gradually dissolves. Next, I'm taking my shoe or a, or a mirror. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm not gonna lie. I even Googled how to pronounce this and I still managed to mess it up. It's my favorite eyelash curler. I'll link it down below for you. I'm trying, I'm trying to act professional with these voiceovers, but some things are just out of my control. What can I say? <clears throat> okay, for mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Plot twist, this is a brown mascara. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I love a good brown mascara, especially for such a soft eye makeup look like the one we're doing here today. And as you can see, I'm just running this product through the bottom and top lashes. And before someone on here in the comments tries to clock me for being unsanitary by using the wand, just know that I don't reuse these mascaras. I usually just toss them out or, or I'll give it to the client. Or in this case, I'm always doing Lorena's makeup. And uh, because I'll use this again on her, I'll just use a label maker or something to type out her name and stick it onto the mascara tube to use another time. For the brows, I'm using the Brow Definer in shade Medium Brown by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Luckily for me, Lorena already has some pretty full brows, so I'm not gonna have to go crazy with filling them in and reshaping the brows, but I'm just running this product through the brow hairs and every so often using the spoolie end to blend the product out. I love Anastasia's Brow Wiz, which is what you'll see me using most of the time because it's really, really precise. And it's a smaller, more defined retractable pencil. But when you're on the go and looking for a quick brow, the brow definer is a little bit more ideal. And it's precise enough to draw on some realistic looking brow hairs to the front of the brow when you need it. Now that we have the brows looking full, fluffy, and natural, I'm then going to wipe off that excess baking powder sitting underneath the eyes. Maybe you can now see what I was referring to earlier. The powder had a little too much color pigment in it to be using as a baking powder, but we're, we're gonna have to roll with the punches here at this point because it's too late to turn back now. I'm going back to that bronzer from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Cappuccino to bronze the face a bit. 
I'm placing this product around the perimeter of the face, including the cheekbones, temples, and forehead, focusing the product on any harsh lines that may have been left behind by that baking powder. To highlight, I'm going to end with a Becca highlighter in the shade Champagne Pop and placing it on the high points of the cheekbones, forehead, down the center of the nose, and the cupid's bow. Looking back at this footage, I think it was around this time I had realized how much time I had left on the timer because I was brushing on this product so quick. And lastly, the lips. I'm using two different liquid lipsticks from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Seraphine and Spicy. I'm starting by using the Seraphine liquid lipstick to outline the lips with a lip brush. So here's something I've never really shared before with anyone, but for a bolder lip color, I never use a lip pencil. I'll use lip pencils from time to time for maybe a nude lip because I know how much people love a good lip pencil, but honestly, if I had it my way all day, every day, I'd always use a liquid lipstick to line the lips. Something about a liquid or a cream to line the lips is way easier and aesthetically pleasing to my eye than using a pencil. You guys don't even understand. I'm a makeup junkie. I'm a boy who loves makeup. I have a whole bedroom and two walk-in closets in my house devoted to just makeup storage. And it's pretty much stacked up to the ceiling. Uh, oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that happened. I forgot about that, but don't worry. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna situate it. A little makeup wipe and a beauty blender will help fix everything. Of course, this happens at the worst of times, but it happens to all of us. It's an easy fix. Nonetheless, as I was saying, mark my words, you will never ever find a red lip pencil in my makeup stash. If I get them in PR, they go straight to a friend. I won't ever use them. If it's anything in this tutorial that I encourage you to try out, it's to try lining your lips with a liquid lipstick rather than a lip pencil. It'll change your life. So as you see here, I'm waiting till I have most of the product on to perfect the corners of the mouth and the lip line. For the last step, I'm using my MAC lip glass to coat the lips to give us that super shiny, sleek, and juicy look. Once I had the gloss applied, I took down the curls and shook them around a bit to give us that sexy, undone day after hairstyle, which is how we finished off this quick and easy makeup look. And there we have it kids. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If you learned a thing or two, give this video a big old thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this on this channel, then be sure to subscribe and comment down below what other looks you'd like to see me recreate. You can also check out more of my work on my Instagram at Painted by Spencer. And until then, I'll see you next time.